They did find bodies without heads, uh, which is there were no beheadings Islamic. Of infants. There were there were some beheadings apparently. The Israelis didn't even claim that in the document they submitted before the ICJ. Go read what your government submitted. It never mentioned beheadings. Well, as far as I know, I some it. people who were beheaded. Yeah. But they, we could bring it up right you now. You also deny that there were rapes there. I didn't deny. I said I've not seen convincing evidence that confirms it. I've said that from day one. And I'll say today, four and a half months later. I've been speaking in public now, I would say since the late 1980s and interviewed and so on. I have never on one occasion ever been asked to condemn any Israeli act. When I've been in group discussions, those supporting Israeli action or perspective, I have never encountered an example where these individuals are asked to condemn what Israel is doing. The, um, the, the demand and obligation of condemnation is exclusively applied, in my personal experience over decades, is exclusively applied to Palestinians. I'm sure if you watch BBC or CNN, when is the last time an Israeli spokesperson has been asked to condemn an Israeli act? I've, I've never seen it. I don't think we condemn the Arab side either, though, right? I don't think there was so, any so, condemnation. There uh, no, was but now that we're talking about Israeli victims, all of a sudden morality is, is Well, I, I think the reason why it comes up is because there's no shortage of international condemnation for Israel. As Norm will point out a million times that there are 50 billion UN resolutions, you've got Amnesty International, you've got multiple bodies of the UN, you've got now this case for the ICJ, so there's no question of if there's condemnation but, but, for Israel. Sorry, I said the Hamas has kindergartens and summer camps in which they train okay. to kill Jews. Children secondly, five and six. secondly, you keep you keep saying Jews, um, to which I would respond. They use the word Jews. To which I would respond that Hamas does not have a record of deliberately targeting Jews who are not Israelis, and in fact, it also doesn't have a record of deliberately targeting either Jews or Israelis outside Israel and Palestine. So you know all this talk of. Um, Unlike the Hezbollah, which has targeted, well, we're talking targeted about, Jews outside, we're talking outside about, of Palestine. We're talking about October 7th and Hamas. If you'd also like to speak about Hezbollah, let's let's get to that separately, if you, if you don't mind. Um, so, again, um, genocidal, well, if, if that term is going to be discussed, my first response would be, let's talk about potentially genocidal actions against Israelis rather than against Jews for the reasons that I just mentioned. And again, I find this constant conflation of, 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 of Jews, Israel, Zionism to be a bit disturbing.